This is Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering. Hey, Governors, and welcome to Inside the Film Room. Jeff Matthews, and as always, Coach Scotty Walden joins me after a big win against Chattanooga. Tw uh, excuse me, 30-20 to 20 win on Thursday night. Coach, the biggest question, how does it feel to start the season at 1-0? Yeah, Jeff, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, we're really excited. Gov Nation, first off, I got to give a shout out to all of our fans that drove down to Chattanooga. Man, it was it was a sea of red on that visitor sideline, and it was awesome. Created a, a really just, you know, to me, a home game atmosphere for us on the road, which which that, if you get that, uh, that's big. I mean, people don't understand what that does for our players. You know, like when they make plays, they hear our fans cheering, screaming their name. I mean, that that makes a vast difference in the in the ball game. And so uh, it feels great to be 1-0, and that's something we've, uh, you know, been talking about ever since the summer started is just talking about being 1-0 every day and trying to be 1% better than we were the day before. And I really felt like we came out, I, I felt like in the first half we, uh, you know, didn't play complimentary football. Second half we talked about playing complimentary football when, hey, the defense is getting stops, offense has got to score. And vice versa, offense is scoring, defense has got to get stops. And then we got to be complimentary on, on our defensive units. And I really felt like we, we did a good job of that in the second half. Speaking of that first half, Benico Harley gets a big 47-yard reception, and then Maddox Trujillo, Trujillo excuse me, yeah. puts it right into the uprights, giving you the lead going into half. Yeah. Coming out of half, going into that third quarter, what's going through your mind to obtain that conglomerate play? Yeah, so the, the big deal in what you just hit on with Maddox's field goal to end the first half, um, we had a decision right there. It was a fourth and one, you know, right there in our own red, in our red zone area. And uh, we had a decision to make, and we really wanted to go into the half, you know, with the lead. I mean, that was the big deal. I feel like when you do that, there's just a certain momentum that it carries. Uh, and, and we put our freshman kicker out there, and, and he's got ice in his veins. And uh, he, he's been a stud all fall camp, and he did a great job putting it through the uprights. Dre McCray gets a big reception as well, 57 yards. The very yeah. next play gets the touchdown. And then later in the fourth, Amai Tanner gets that last touchdown. <laughs> now, can you tell me, can you talk to me about – Dre McRae's performance as a freshman and how big of an influence he is on this offense. Yeah, I mean, Dre has come in and really just, um, you know, not batted an eye, not played like a freshman, not acted like a freshman. He uh, He's a guy that, you know, I was I, I was recruiting at Southern Miss and was very fortunate to uh, be in the race for to, to, to get him to be a gov when, when I when I got this job. And, um, and our staff did a great job recruiting him. And uh, we, we think we think Dre is a special player. We really do. And I think that, uh, you know, I was, I was trying not to say his name too much preseason because I really didn't want a lot of people to know about him. But, uh, you know, it's on tape now. You know, he's a good he's a good football player. And I think his best days are ahead of him. But he's, you know, li like – Ton like all of our players, he is extremely talented, but he is an extremely, extremely humble guy, works his tail off and brings it every day. And I'm expecting big things from him. The thing I love about with our uh, performance, you know, is, is, you know, we spread the love. You know, we had four uh, different players have receiving touchdowns, you know, from Ahmad Tanner, Benico Harley, uh, Dre, Dre McCray, and then DJ Render, you know, catching his first uh, collegiate touchdown. So that was awesome to see just, you know, Draylon spreading the wealth. And I think we got a lot of playmakers on offense and defense that, that can show up any given night. Now joining me, John Edwards, defensive back for Austin P, who had a huge night on Thursday, two big interceptions. Congratulations on that front. Can you tell me how does it feel going 1-0 and right now just to start off the season? Uh, it felt great to start fast and um, get the first game out the way. First game jitters are over. Um, it also uh, feels good to have a big win against a Tennessee rival that Austin P has never beat, and I didn't know that until uh, pregame. But um, it just feels good to start off with a win. Now, speaking on those two interceptions, can you give me an idea of what you were feeling on the field, but then also what you were feeling when you got back to the sideline? Um, on the field, I was kind of – like just in the moment and taking it all in and really just couldn't believe that it came straight to me. And once I got to the sideline, I, it really just realized, okay, I just had two interceptions. That's that's a big deal. Now with Ole Miss right around the corner, what are some things that you are doing personally in preparation for that? Um, just putting last game behind me, watching extra tape, um, looking at what I can improve on from last game and, and just – Knowing that we have a big, big time game and focus and preparation has to be uh, a, a lot better. Now, if I remember correctly, you're a double. You have a double bachelor's, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. John, can you tell me about your degrees and what they're in? Um, I have them in human and health performance and human movement. Okay. Now, is there anything that you're looking to do with those outside of football? Um, 
once football is done for me, what, how long that lasts, I want to uh, teach high school ball and um, coach. I mean, yeah, and coach. Um, I've looked at being a physical therapist, but I don't, I don't think that's the route right I want to go with that. All righty. Well, I thank you so much, John, for joining me here on Inside the Film Room. Thank you. This has been Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering. 